Well, good evening, YouTubers, friends, and family from across the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide, and we are on September 28th, 2018. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet, and thank you for joining me. God bless you. We made it another day. We're going to start off looking at some SDO images here. Some plasma filaments coming in, northwest region. Electrifying just before that, and all those flashes. And then departing as well. Some large filament eruptions here. Connecting. You can see. Wow. Those things are monstrous. You could fit like three or four Earths in there. Wow, look at that. Plasma dancing. Beautiful images coming out of the sun today. Wow. I love our solar system. I love the universe. Also, look at this filament eruption coming out the bottom there. We're going to focus in on that because that was a large filament eruption. And we're going to I'm going to be looking closely over the next few hours to see if that is headed our way or not because that would be some intense space weather. This was a pretty large filament eruption. If you can see it there, I'll just focus in. But yeah, stay aware and prepared as we had that large 7.5 downgraded to 6.1 earthquake in Palu, Indonesia early this morning. My thoughts and prayers are going to all those people who have been affected by the earthquake and the tsunami that followed. Some devastating videos, as you might have seen already today, I released a video of the tsunami that came out early this morning. Now, when I released my first video, oh, here, that was a quick look. See that star there? That's Mercury heading out of the blue screen. This is Alaska 1 and 2 image. Sorry, I got a little sidetracked there. We're gonna get to weather now. Love you guys. Five day forecast for weather. Winter coming in quickly to Alberta. Minus two temperatures over the next two days. And then minus four on the backside of this little storm. It's probably gonna dump about 10 to 15 centimeters of snow in Calgary. Weather Network isn't even talking about it yet, but I know they will be soon. <laughs> this is gonna be a pretty big storm and it's gonna bring a lot of snow to northwest parts of the United States as well as that cold front slips right down. Watching these cold temperatures really start to invade and slip down. Tropical Storm Rosa downgraded today to a two and most likely will be making landfall as a one or maybe even a subtropical storm but yeah heading into land and quite possibly could be joining forces with another low pressure system heading off of the west coast there i'll show you in a moment we're also looking at this is subtropical storm leslie who is still alive almost 10 days now Keeps downgrading herself and then upgrading, and but she's not going anywhere. She hasn't gone anywhere for days. So watch for this low pressure system, subtropical storm Leslie, to build and be a pretty nasty um, nor'easter, possibly for parts of northeastern United States and Canada, Atlantic provinces. Watching remnants of Kirk here. Just went through Barbados last night. A lot of high winds, a lot of rain. Videos coming out of there as well. And we have eight tropical storms. Only four are here. The other four are areas of interest, but they will be building as the equator is starting to activate again. We have Typhoon Trammy, who is heading into Japan tonight, making landfall. Eye of the storm ripping right across the island. You can see here on this trajectory. Wow. Thoughts and prayers going out to Japan. 
Indonesia, all these areas that are being inundated by extreme weather events and earthquakes and volcanoes and tsunamis. Wow. Move away from the coastlines, but my thoughts and prayers are there. These storms are getting bigger, more numerous. We are on, what, Tropical Storm 32, I believe, for the Pacific Ocean. 32 storms. And there were, there's twice now that we've had eight tropical storms. So here, this is the area I was talking about. Low pressure system coming in from the East Pacific, possibly joining forces with Tropical Storm Rosa. Also another area here, developing every day, some intense rains across Southeastern South America, Buenos Aires here, where I do have a subscriber. I'd love to get some video footage from you down there. Those are gonna be some beautiful high cloud tops mass amounts of rain and then we have tropical cyclone Lou who is downgraded nothing serious to talk about there Australia very dry but still cold temperatures southeastern Australia they've been cool all year long really cool They're heading straight into summer as we're heading into a quick winter. But they've got another month or so till they head into summer. Overlooking Africa. Not much to talk about for new developments in the coming days. It's still quiet right now, but might be expecting some space weather as the images that I showed you in the beginning could cause some space weather heading towards us. Let's look at the last 24 hours for earthquakes now. So you can see here on this uh, particular app, they downgraded the 7.5 to a 6.1. And everybody saw the video earlier when I showed this, it was a 7.5. And when I was looking at reports straight from Indonesia, Indonesia geologists were recording a 7.7. .7. So discrepancies around the world here on the actual size of the Richter scale on this earthquake, but it was a very large and devastating earthquake for the region. My thoughts and prayers are going out to everyone there. So interesting areas of interest here as well for earthquakes, the 5.6 and the 5.5 here in the Atlantic Indian Ridge. Also the 3.2 Washington there, small rumbles in Alaska, but watch in this coming, in the coming days for this activity to increase. But yes, there's obviously a volcanic situation happening in Indonesia right now. Krakatoa went off, Cinnabung went off. There is about four of them that went off overnight. And then the next day, all of this happens. So, something fell. Something fell. It's a big time plate movement going on here. Let's look at the last seven days for earthquakes and also showing you exactly where all the fault lines are. And you can see where we've got, we're bursting at the seams right now. Every fault line has got an earthquake on it. This is an interesting one here. Yesterday, the 5.2 in Barbados. I'm thinking atmospheric compression earthquake there. Forecasted region was the, uh, for myself, was the Alaskan plate, Aleutian Islands, Cascadia fault line. And then this happens with all the volcanic activity, large earthquake. Please stay aware and prepared. Share this video with everybody you know, guys. We've got 3,700 subscribers. Thank you so much. Love you all. And I'm so excited for the future with Morning Dew daily events worldwide. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your Morning Dew. Much love. God bless. Bye-bye. Please 
hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world. Thank you.